gotta be joking, Tiana. You just ruined everything for me. Because of you, my date was a total disaster. How is that my fault? I only sent you something you left behind when you said you were going on a business trip. But guess what? You weren't on a business trip at all. You were cheating on me with some other woman? How dare you? You owe me an apology. What? Apologize to you? You should be the one apologizing to me. What are you talking about? I was having a great time with her until you messed it up. She came to see me at the hotel, and then she saw what you sent me. She realized I was married and ran away. Thanks to you, I wasted all my money on this hotel and this woman. So, you're not sorry at all then? You lied to me and hid her from me. You betrayed me and broke my heart. And you think I should apologize to you? What's the big deal? Everyone cheats these days. It's not like I'm the only one. You shouldn't make such a fuss about it. Are you kidding me? Actually, I was very careful not to let you find out. I didn't want to hurt you with my cheating. But you had to go and snoop around and discover my secret. This is all on you, Tiana. How can you say that, Anton? You stabbed me in the back and then you blame me for it? Anyone else would say they're sorry after doing something like that. That's all I wanted to hear from you, Anton. Why should I say sorry to you? You're my wife, not my boss. You're the one who should say sorry to me. Sorry for being a nagging, clueless wife. How dare you! I planned this trip to have some fun with my girlfriend, and I booked the best hotel room they had. But you had to ruin it for me. You owe me big time for that. This is insane, Anton. Are you for real? This is the third time you've cheated on me this year. What are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to live my life, that's what. I have to work hard every day, doing a job that I hate. The least I deserve is to have some fun on the side, and it's none of your business. What? Just because you have a better job than me that you enjoy doesn't mean you can look down on me. Because remember this. No matter how successful you are in your career, having a cheating husband makes you a loser in life. You're the kind of pathetic woman who can't keep her man happy. What did you just say? And, to make matters worse, you interfered with me and my girlfriend. Now I have to stay in this hotel alone and wait for my vacation to end before I come back to you. But don't worry, I'll find another woman to keep me company. And don't you dare get in my way again, you worthless woman. Hi, Tiana. What's going on here? What did you just say to me? Do you really say that my son's been cheating on you? Yes, I did. He's cheated on me three times this year. That's how many times I've caught him red-handed. I'm sick and tired of being his wife. But every time I try to end things with him, he begs me to stay. See, he'll never do it again. That's why I was hoping you could talk some sense into him and make him let me go. You want me to tell him to stop cheating on you for your own good? Well, let me tell you something, Tiana. It's your fault that my boy cheats on you. How dare you play the victim here? What? I've heard a lot of things from Anton about you. And that means you're making more money than him every month, right? Yeah, I've worked hard to become a department manager. With all the work and responsibilities I have, I'm making around 200000 a year. Well, look at you. You're making that kind of money now? You know what I see? I see a wife who's making more than her husband. I think my son has every right to cheat on you for being so arrogant. Wait a minute. What? Why are you blaming me for his cheating? I've been doing my best to advance in my career for both of us. Are you saying it's my fault that he's unfaithful to me? That's right. As a wife, your duty is to support your husband, not outshine him. But you're doing the opposite. You're making more money than him. You've wounded his pride. You're a disgrace to our family. What? You think you're better than him just because you do well at your job? There's no value in a woman making that kind of money. It's because you're so busy at work that you can't take care of your husband or give him children. You're not only a failure as a wife, but a failure as a woman, too. That's not true. I've been doing everything I can to create a better future for us. Really, you're the big problem for me and my son. You've abandoned your home and making more money than your husband, and you've allowed him to cheat on you. I pity my poor baby for having a monster like you as his wife. 
he had no choice but to find another woman to satisfy him. So you don't feel any sympathy for me? What? I've devoted all my time and energy to working for our family. But instead of approaching me as his wife, you both blame me and call me a bad wife. And you're okay with him cheating on me because it's my fault? Don't you think I deserve some compassion? Not him? Well, if you want us to feel sorry for you, then maybe you should go leave my son alone. Go ahead, divorce him. We won't miss you. What? It seems to me that my son is very popular with the ladies. He can cheat on me with so many women. So if I divorce him now, you won't care at all. In fact, you'll be so happy for him to find a better woman to marry. Are you serious right now? I am. I really believe that we'd be better off without you. We have no need for a wife that's going to cry and complain all the dang time. I think it's time Anton and I have a change in the family. Is that what you think? I understand then. I would actually like to go home to my parents now. I happen to be hated by both my mother-in-law and my husband now, so there's no point in sticking around. That's right. Go ahead and run off back to your parents. And don't ever come back to us. I hope you'll take the time when you're back at your parents' place to think about just how horrible of a wife you really were. Hey, what are you doing? Hiding back at your parents' place for so long? I'm sick of you being silent and avoiding us. What's this? You, Gianna? Long time no see, huh? Don't you dare say anything else. I want you to apologize to me. I thought after a month you'd come to your senses and return to your husband. But it's been a whole year now. And you haven't talked to him or me at all. You said you were pregnant. And you were having a baby soon. Where is it? Are you, how long are you going to keep us waiting? What? You haven't spoken to Anton at all this year. And since you're not coming back to him, you're making him suffer alone. What kind of wife are you? Um, Gianna... I don't want to hear any more lies from you. If you're going to take that long to learn the lesson, you might as well stay away from us. And that means I want you to divorce my son right now. I'll have him marry his new girlfriend after you're gone. What? You'll have him marry her? That's right. Did you know that while you were back at your parents' house doing God knows what, my son found himself a new love? And this time he's serious about her. He wants to marry her. But you already know that's what you deserve for abandoning him and wasting a whole year. Hmm. And so because of that, I want you to sign the divorce papers right now. And don't you dare ask for any money or anything for my boy. You're going to admit that the reason for the divorce was your failure as a wife. It was a smart move for Anton to find a better woman than you. Listen, Gianna, can you please calm down for a second? I think there's a misunderstanding here. What? What's so hard to understand? Just do as I say and get the divorce done already. You divorce my son right now, you worthless woman. A real woman would never disobey her mother-in-law, so hurry up. I'm with my mother-in-law right now, though. What? So, you asking me to send you some divorce papers doesn't make any sense. I already went to the courthouse a year ago and filed for a divorce from your son. What? What do you mean? What do you mean you got divorced a year ago? That's exactly what I mean. I've been divorced from Anton for a year now. I already gave him the papers. So please, go ahead and let him marry his girlfriend if that's what you want. I have nothing to do with him anymore. What? I never heard anything about you and Anton getting divorced. Anton never told me anything about it. So you're telling me that you went behind our backs and got divorced without a consent? Without your consent? You were the one who told me to leave him because I was a bad wife. You both made it clear that you didn't want me. So, I did what you wanted. What? Both you and Anton were blaming me for being a, this crappy woman you wanted me to believe. I was calling me a useless wife as well, a bad wife. So that's why I finally came around to agreeing with you and getting the divorce. Then, I returned back to my parents' house, and soon after that, I got remarried. And as of right now... I'm with a very loving husband and a super kind mother-in-law who both care for me very much. Even now, I'm out with my mother-in-law getting coffee and having some laughs at a local cafe. Wait, what are you talking about, Tiana? I'm sure I did tell you the best option was to get divorced at the time, but I didn't. I... I didn't think you'd actually 
go ahead and divorce Anton. And you actually went out and handed him the papers and during that time? What? So what were all those terrible things you said to me? Just some sort of sick and twisted joke to make me feel bad or something? You are far too old to be saying stuff like that to me as a joke. But I suppose you really don't know what's right and what's wrong still. Huh? I'm going to let you in on a little life secret here. It is very easy to hurt someone with the words you say. And in my case, both you and your son said horrible things to me. Being with your son and having you as my mother-in-law was one of the worst times of my life. I tried so hard to make things work out, but every time I'd try something, you both would try back, making it worse. And well, after being cheated on a few times by Anton at the time, you came in for the final blow. You're saying I did? Well, after coming to you for help with him, you told me straight up that getting a divorce from him would be the best for all of us. Do you have any idea how badly hearing something like that from you made me feel? But now you're going to tell me? After a whole year has passed, that was some kind of joke? How much longer are you going to treat me like I'm some kind of an idiot? What? What the heck? What's with you acting like you're better than me? You don't get to talk to me like that just because you divorced my son. I'm actually very frustrated with you for divorcing my son without our approval or whatever. But at least now Anton doesn't have to worry about a thing and can hand in his marriage papers to that woman right away. That's totally right. I'm very happy that I was able to hand in those documents a year ago before coming back to my parents' place. I need to go tell Anton the good news right away. Then he'll be able to get himself that young, cute little woman he's been going out with. And I'm sure this time that she'll be a proper wife for Anton. Hey, you actually went through with getting a divorce from me? You've already gotten married again back in your hometown? And why are you talking to me about that? I understand that your mom was shocked by all that, but you had to have known we got divorced, right? I told you the moment I was on my way home to send me those divorce papers we had. And you went ahead and did so, right? I did. I didn't think you'd actually go through with handing them to the courthouse. Really? You do realize that the only reason I would be asking for you to send them is in order to sign and hand them in, right? I just assumed you were using them as a way of protecting ourselves from ever having to actually get a divorce. Well, they're more for me to have a way of getting you to stay with me, but... And so, I thought you just wanted them for me as a way of reminding yourself that I'm your husband and that I was in charge. What? I asked you to send me the divorce papers, which you did. And then, ever since that day, I hadn't said a word to you. And you thought for some reason we were still going to be married after what happened there? Shut up. Normally one would say something before handing things like that in. You never did that, so all of this is on you. Ah, here we go again. You're going to be blaming me for everything? Well, you can forget about me because we're no longer a thing. And you have a girlfriend now that you need to marry. I've already heard about her from your mom. But you happen to be with a woman you're actually planning on marrying now? Well, go ahead and have a wonderful life with her, please. What about any of this is going to be wonderful? She and I already broke up. What? You both broke up? A lot of things changed with us. My mom and I were planning on having me divorce you and then marry another woman. And that's why I made sure my mom was there to introduce me to a woman like her. But just as things were looking good for me, that witch told me she had a husband. What? So the girl you were dating ended up having a husband? I was so serious about wanting to marry her. But she told me in the end that she was only with me to fool around. So her last words to me were that marriage would never happen between us and then she ran. But what makes all this worse is that her husband found out about me. So right now, I'm being asked by her husband to pay him a settlement that I can't refuse. Oh my gosh. You really went ahead and got yourself into quite the predicament there then. Having to pay that kind of money to her husband is going to be impossible for me. Since you're never around for the whole year, I've had to eat out every single day. And when the house would get so messy that I couldn't bear living in it, I had to call professional cleaners to come do all that work for me. I've been having to use up all my money every month, as well as most of my savings on this crap. Right now, I have nothing in my bank accounts. 
Really? That's why I need you to come back to me right now, or else I'm doomed. You happen to be making more money than me, so I'll be fine having you as my wife. I want you to come back to me and pay off the settlement. But tell me, why the hell did you get that divorce without my consent and get married to another man? Stop screwing around, you whore. Excuse me? I think you're the one that needs to get real with me, mister. How about instead of asking me for money when you're broke, you go and ask your mom, who always have as your buddy. I don't give a crap about you anymore. Or are you just going to throw me away then? I sure the hell am. You leave that man you're with right now and come back to me. You're supposed to be here helping your husband. You are not my husband, though. And after marrying a man like my current husband, I learned something. That you are the worst man on this planet. What? My husband doesn't care how much effort I put into my work and doesn't ever say anything hurtful or rude to me. And in place of any of those horrible things, he will compliment and praise me for my work. He tells me all the time that he won't lose to me and will step up the effort he gives in his job as well. And since I've now learned that with him, I'm never coming back to a pile of trash like you. No way! I'm not going to listen to crap from you about how I needed to learn to read the air when all you could do was cheat on me with another woman and talk down to me like I was the idiot. When you couldn't give any effort at your job to make yourself more money than me. Well... I'm glad to hear that the woman you love so much has been married the whole time. And that her husband is going to suck your pockets dry. It's what you deserve. After being the most toxic and crooked husband a woman could possibly have. You always talk to me about how amazing of a man you were compared to me. So figure that mess out on your own, since you are better than me. And with that, I don't want you to ever contact me again. Listen to me, Tiana. Anton has been terrible to me. He's been spending all my social security to pay off the settlement he was sued for. And it turns out that the husband who sued him is filthy rich. But he still wants my son to give him a hundred thousand dollars as compensation. What? He wants that much from Anton, huh? Wow, you really hooked Anton up with the wrong woman, didn't you? And to make things worse, he's gonna lose his job now. It seems that the man whose wife he was sleeping with has some influence in the company he works for. And for the past week, his bosses have been trying to kick him out. He's really in a lot of trouble, isn't he? He lost the woman he loved, the money he had left, and the job he was earning from. So this is why I'm begging you, Tiana. Please come back and help us out. What? I did some research on you and I saw that you got another promotion recently. You're making around $500,000 a year, am I right? That's right. I'm grateful for everything this company has done for me and how it changed my life for the better. And luckily, I haven't faced any criticism for taking this promotion, as both my husband and mother-in-law appreciate how much I contribute to them. With their support, I feel like I'm soaring in this company. And Anton and I appreciate your job too, so please dump the husband you're married to now and come back to us. Really? A year ago, you were scolding me for making more than my husband. Remember? How do you appreciate my job when you say things like that to me? That was a joke then! Now Anton and I respect you and your work and your decisions. Now it's important for both the wife and husband to make a lot of money, right? Times have changed. You're a wonderful woman and wife. So you're lying to me now, aren't you? Just to get me to come back and bail you out? I think that if you came back to us, you'd be the most valuable woman to us. And from now on, I won't let my son cheat on you ever again. I'll be your best friend ever, okay? So please come back to us. I promise that you won't miss your current husband or his mom at all. I know lots of nice cafes where we could have coffee and chat. You're making me sick now, so can you stop with all that nonsense? What? And I don't want to have coffee with someone I hate so much. So no thanks. I'm sick of you, so can we end this? What? No, you stay right there. What the hell? What do you think you're doing? Calling me sick? Well, I'm just telling you the truth. You told me to divorce your son, and a year later, you're back. Acting like that was all a joke. And when things go wrong for you and your son, you come crawling back to me, asking for my help, saying you didn't mean anything. 
that sick? That's the only way I can describe it. You're like some kind of maggot spreading all the filth on your body all over my stuff. How dare you? You did say that your cheating son happens to be really good looking, so I'm sure he'll find himself yet another woman to love him in no time that you can both abuse. Let's just hope she's stupid and rich so that she falls into your guys' trap. Now I'm getting off my phone. I literally have nothing to do with you both anymore. So stop trying to get me back after you force me away. After that, Anton ended up leaving the house he was in to go back to living with his mom at her house. But before long, rumors began to spread around town about the mother and son duo that are so stupid they never knew that after a whole year, his wife had divorced him. And about how embarrassing Anton is for running all the way back to his mother, crying for money to pay off his settlements. With rumors like that all spreading around about those two, it's a surprise to me that either one of them is still able to live in that town because of all those rumors. Anton found it really hard to get any other woman and resorted to going to speed dating parties. But after going to a few of them, they started to ban him for being too insane. After asking so many girls to marry him and take him away from his mother.